Ready? The next fight has been prepared. Destroy Sabian. Dr. T is waiting for you. Nice. No, no, no quips or anything, Travis. You're just like, okay, well, I guess I'm going there. She already booked front row seats. Okay, uh, let's, uh, I was going to say let's go to the closet and check out some of the clothes we got, but let's just do that when we have, uh, when we have access to the actual clothing store, maybe, so we have a little more options to choose from, because there are some cool jackets that you can put on in this game. That uh, I do. In fact, we're probably going to end up putting on the exact same outfit that I did in the original LP. Love that black jacket. Okay. And uh, <laughs> Jean is having the time of her life right now. Travis is just letting this happen, apparently. Okay, buddy. And, uh... Yeah, that's all we can do in here. Again, there's really not much to do in our motel. It's more of a, a m aesthetics thing. Oh, well. Okay, the entrance to Ranking Battle 9 is now open. Time to hop on our motorcycle, which the game actually does remember where you place the motorcycle because we it's still parked in front of the ATM right now. So we just have to slog our way over there again movement in the overworld is painfully slow it'll get faster soon don't worry uh, that's one of the first things i'm prioritizing don't you worry okay so let's hop on the spell tiger and let's drive to the first rank which is the destroy stadium which incidentally is at the other side of town so we're gonna have to go f super fast hey look an intentional wheelie by the way one thing i figured out is that uh you can actually do non-existent dashes like this that like position your like see look at that like i didn't even actually move and it just boot it just it fills your boost immediately which is horribly broken you couldn't really do this in the wii version because the <laughs> you crashed into a wall you couldn't really do this in the wii version because actually drifting was based on a motion control swipe um so doing like minuscule swipes was way harder um or, like, not really, because you had to initiate the dash with a swipe, but then, like, but then you just let go of the button. So maybe you could do it, and I never tried it, but I don't know. Uh, it's it's cool, though. Uh, at the same time, it's like, well, maybe maybe those minuscule dashes is what aided to crashing the game earlier, but I don't know. It's probably no rhyme or reason to it. Also, I really gotta stop crashing into everything I see. We, uh, we got a, we got an old man to kill. <laughs> Okay, well, here's the stadium, and... Okay, sweet. Here's the entrance right here. Oh, wow. We keep crashing into everything. Okay, it didn't actually look like a stadium from the outside. It kind of looked like more like an office building or something, or a theater. But no, this is a stadium, and this is rank 9. Listen to my song. So freaking cool. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, that's one thing that was uh, definitely missing in No More Heroes 1, is that you don't get... Uh, no More Heroes 2, rather, is that you don't get those really sick uh, boss intros. Okay, welcome to Destroy Stadium. Uh, this is a very similar area to uh, Death Metal's Mansion. It's basically a hallway with goons, and you kill the goons. Spoiler alert, that's the entire game, so if you don't like it, you're not going to like the rest of the game. Uh, again, the gameplay isn't the most riveting thing in the world. Uh, uh, some would argue that's almost the point, but uh, again, these, the boss fights are definitely what you're what you're playing for. That being said, I do find the actual gameplay of like fighting all the goons in the hallways and stuff genuinely entertaining. Otherwise, I wouldn't like this game. What I hate is this control scheme with killing blows. I really don't like it. Oh well, uh, I'm sure I'll get better as the game goes on. Okay, this is probably the way to go, so I don't want to do this. Yeah, our combo game with the Bloodberry also leaves a little bit to be desired right now. Again, that's something that can improve. Uh, not before uh, taking out Dr. Peace, though. Let's actually head back this way. I just want to... Yeah, this is the optional way to go. So let's actually take out these guys first. Uh, come on. 
God, there's so many buttons you have to click just to do a killing blow. Just let me swing the dual shock. By the way, I should mention something, and that's the fact that if you don't like the dual shock controls in this game, you can actually use the PlayStation Move. This is a PlayStation Move compatible game. That being said, I am not busting out a hundred dollars for a dead peripheral, for a dead system, for one shoddy port. There's absolutely no way I'm doing that. But if you have a move controller lying around for some reason, then you can use it on this game. Um, again, I don't know. Like, do you, would you rather have the? Would you rather pay triple digits for a move controller, or would you rather just buy a copy of the Wii version, which is arguably the better version in general? So I don't know. What the heck did Travis do? What is happening right now? These animations were not nearly this glitchy. Okay. I'll stop trying to compare apples and oranges with these two versions, because they both have problems. I think this one's problems are a little more substantial, but... That's the new hero over there. Let's actually cut off some heads. See, so yeah, this is a perfect situation where, if this was the regular game, that power-up would have activated at the end of the hallway, where there were no enemies, and the power-up would have run out before I could even get to these guys, so it would have just been a complete waste. But uh, now with the ability to actually stock power-ups, now uh, we can actually put it to full use. And even if we did make it to those guys, the power-up would have been cancelled by that cutscene right there. So yeah, in this room, let's actually immediately activate it. Okay, this one is really, really cool, because this one basically goes into a very, very violent black and white mode. It's a mad world, better watch your step. And uh, one, one of the things that you're going to be seeing a lot with these uh, special moves is that they are a lot of the time just a straight up insta-kill. And this one actually gives you a projectile, too. I believe the... Per I, I could be wrong, but I think it also has a slash at the beginning. So, like, if, you, if you're close range, the enemies will also die. It could just be the projectiles hitting them at close range. But, yeah, that projectile is brutal. You do move extremely slow when using it, obviously, but... Hey, if there's an enemy in your sight, uh, if you can even see them with the dark filter that the game puts over the screen, if there's an enemy in your sight and you can see them, they're as good as dead. You're as good as dead. No bathrooms, man. I wish I could save in here. Okay, another elite. Apparently beam katanas are just a commercially available thing. Wipe out all enemies. Obviously game, that's the name of the game. Okay, let's... Ow. I'm trying to actually do a suplex on him. It's not working, though. Come on! Oh, the... You have to... You have to spin the control stick really quickly. Jeez. Okay, that should be all of them. Okay, I'm actually very curious about this because this is uh, this is one of the harder little mini games you have to do in the in uh, the original. Let's see how it translates to a controller. I'm thinking it might be better. <laughs> oh, what the heck! I just realized he puts on the T-shirts he grabs from the dumpster immediately. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, so it's all about timing. No way. <laughs> First try? Nice! Oh god, that frame rate, Jesus Christ. Okay, so that is one of the harder things to do in the Wii version. I feel like every time I play this game, it's com it's a completely different ball game, literally. Because I, I could never figure out whether it's a timing thing, whether it's a strength of the Wii remote thing. But yeah, like there are some times where you'll hit the ball and it'll kill one enemy. And then you'll feel like a complete fool. And then other times well, you'll hit every single enemy. And it'll do the do 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 And you feel, like a, you feel like a badass. You feel like a professional baseball player. But uh, hey, I, I guess so. 
in situations like that, it definitely the motion controls definitely uh, made it harder, I guess. Okay, come on. Ah! You don't have enough time to really charge up attacks before enemies actually hit you. There we go. Oh, we got a battery plus uh, by killing one of them. That nice. We actually got dark step off of that. That's crazy. Okay, so this is a perfect opportunity to actually charge our beam guitar on it. There is a battery pack over there, but might as well show it off because I haven't yet. This is, uh, again, one of the more infamous things about Travis's character is that whenever your beam katana is low, you actually have to go into a corner and, uh, yeah, you, <laughs> you need to... <laughs> you need to uh, charge your battery, if you know what I mean. Or uh, release your battery more like it. So, yeah, I, it, that actually worked better than it usually does. Uh... <laughs> That could be taken out of context. Uh, what I what I mean is when in testing the dual shock motion controls for actually charging the beam katana were really finicky, like even more so than the Wii remote. Uh, just it just it very inconsistent like how quickly your meter was filling up. I love how some some of them like they step around the corner like just to get you. There we go. So what I just did right there is a downed attack. When enemies are on the ground, you actually have a brief moment to actually do an instant kill attack by pressing R2 and square, I believe, which is a really weird button combination, but that's what you have to do. There we go. I'm surprised the Beamy Donna didn't actually kill him. I'm pretty sure if you suplex someone and their health gets all the way to zero, it actually just auto-kills them. At that time, it didn't. Maybe that's something that isn't in Until No More Heroes 2. It's been a while. Okay, that does it for this one. I believe it's the baseball minigame again, so let's see if, uh, if I do as well the second time. I love how... <laughs> I love how Travis just shrugs. It's like, well, screw it. Why not? These guys are going to be dead soon. Might as well give them a... It's going to give me a tutorial again. We just did it. Come on. Okay. Play ball. Hey, bada 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 Swing! That was a test. That was a test. That was a joke. That was a goof. Okay, what? Nice! <laughs> oh my god, that frame rate! That might be the worst frame rate I've ever seen in a console game. I'm not even joking. <laughs> like, I've seen worse on PCs, obviously. Just do, do that out of the nature of how PC gaming is sometimes, but... My god, that was bad. Holy crap. Only with the power of the PlayStation could this game function. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, God, there's a lot of them. Oh, jeez. Don't mind me. I'm just going to slowly sidestep that baseball. Oh, wow. Oh, God. We're out. We're out. We're out. Don't mind me. Just charging. <laughs> there we go. See, so, yeah, I think you thankfully don't need to charge it all the way to actually attack. All you need to do is just charge it enough before you, uh, before you can actually uh, attack again. I believe you can actually fire those baseballs back at them with right timing, but I, I'm not totally sure on that. There we go. 
One thing I'm really having trouble with is that whenever you initiate a killing blow, it's really hard to tell what direction it's going to be. Again, it was easier with the Wii Remote because you could just do it on reaction. But, like, with the control stick flick, it just it doesn't feel as intuitive. I know I keep saying that, but just, I don't know. It, it's really hard getting used to it. it. really is. Okay. I believe we're nearing the end, actually. Nope, nope. <laughs> Still another army to go. Okay. Oh, God. This guy came for us. Jeez. There we go. Nice. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Jerk off in their blood. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Travis. Are you okay, man? Oh. Yeah, I have an idea. Let's actually charge this. We'll cut open the box. We'll grab the battery, and then we'll grab, uh, and then we'll kill these guys too. See, as you can see, the charge slash is incredible if you're actually able to set it up. The charge slash is actually different depending on what beam katana you're using, and the last charge attack is the best attack in the game, especially with the last beam katana upgrade, which sort of breaks the game, which is why it's so expensive. But we'll get into that in a bit. And that's the last two guys taken out. Just kidding. There's another one over here. Just kidding. There's two more. Oh no. Oh god, I gotta, I gotta charge. God, I wish my combo was better. I love how Travis is casually blocking the guy behind him. That's really cool. Ow. See, he actually had a charge attack of his own right there. Oh god. Uh, please go. Damn it! Get up, Travis! Have I ever played this game before? There we go. They're hard to deal with sometimes, especially since, like, dodge rolling isn't that useful when we're in, like, really tight corridors like this. Dodge rolling is more useful for, uh, for dodging, like, unblockable attacks that bosses have and stuff. More so than regular grunts. So we were able to knock that guy to the ground. I'm not actually sure if we were would have been able to... Oh, God, we're out again? Really? I guess we do have no upgrades for this thing, so it would run out pretty quick. Okay, that guy died, went a lot quicker. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Just celebrate. There we go. My god, that's ridiculous. Okay, a train card for our efforts, and that finally does it for Destroy Stadium. That definitely took a little bit longer than Destroy, uh, Destroy Death Metal's Mansion. I mean, not Destroy. We're in Destroy Stadium, and we're about to destroy Death Metal's face. Dr. Peace's face. I've never played this game before. My entire life is a sham. Travis, hello? The moment you step onto the field, the fight begins. If you win, you will be ranked ninth. If you lose, well, there's no need to go into that. <laughs> need to pop a breath in? Hit the restroom? Brush your teeth? When you are ready, step inside. To be honest, your chances of survival are slim. But, trust me. Your force and head for the garden of madness. Well, thanks for the pep talk. It's more of a more of an insult talk because you seemingly have no faith in me. But I mean, you tried. <laughs> you tried. Five, one star. You tried. Okay, it's actually. Uh, I know we just. <laughs> I know we just fapped, but maybe a, a battery increase would be a, a little bit nice. There we go. Pick up a wrestling mask on the way. I like how it's the Santa Destroy colors, too. It's really cool. Do you remember your second suplex? Not the first one. The second one. Okay, finally a toilet. Time to relieve myself. Thank God. 
I mean, I just did in the corner there with the with the guy was attacking me, but let's relieve ourselves again. Okay. I feel a lot better now. Especially when we pick up this slice of pizza. <laughs> there we go. It was actually a full pizza. Travis just consumed the whole thing in this dirty, dirty hallway right before the big game. And that big game is against rank 9, Dr. Peace. I'm gonna feel a little bit bad for killing you now. <laughs> that beautiful voice. It has always been my dream to perform in a stadium such as this. A gentleman from the association told me I could have any stage I wanted today. Now, how could I refuse such a kind offer? <laughs> Courtesy of me and my entry fee, no doubt. My ex-wife called me the other day, and I met my daughter for the first cool time work. in ten years. We dined at a fancy restaurant. One of those that are impossible to get a reservation for. And then afterwards, karaoke. Who got you the reservation? The association took care of it, of course. Fuck. My entry fee. I paid 150,000 LPs for karaoke <laughs> night? In fact, the reservations are hard to get. In fact, no one gets reservations. The words reservations only apply only to those outside of a circle. It's getting into that circle that matters. And the food, good? Unfortunately, the atmosphere was a facade. Not once did my own daughter look me in the eye. Oh, the food tasted like blood. You're a junkie for blood, old man. <laughs> that Sadly, smile he had was like, this'll get him. <laughs> People like us, we're sharks attracted to blood. You smelled blood too, didn't you? Isn't that why you're here? You got it, old man. <laughs> and for some reason, I feel this sense of euphoria. Oh, that's a cool Don't shot. Don't me too quickly. I want to gorge myself on this sense of fulfillment till I vomit. Man, this is what I live for. Fighting your own kind. Nothing's more gratifying. See you on the other side. Oh, God, the Dualshock Rumble. Oh. Oops. No, oh, don't worry. I'm a Looney Tunes character. That was actually an admittedly fast loading screen. Good job, game. Oh, God. Okay, rank nine, Dr. Peace. Uh, this guy does not mess around, because, yeah, obviously he is uh, strictly a revolver kind of guy. <laughs> Twelve shots. So uh, this, he's a little bit uh, tricky to deal with. That's an unblockable attack right there. If he get hit by that, you're going to be sent all the way back to the, uh, the back of the stadium. So you need to be, uh, watch out. Whenever he puts his guns away and starts glowing, that's when you have to be prepared to actually do a dodge roll. Again, dodge rolling isn't really that useful outside of uh, outside of boss fights. There we go. So one thing that uh, that is a little bit annoying about uh, about Doctor Peace is that oh shit. Okay, let's see. I tried to cancel the uh, cancel the uh, charging animation, and then uh, so I was able to block the. Uh, there we go. Block the. Uh, bullets in time or uh, dodge from the bullets in time but sadly that didn't work uh what i was gonna say is that uh, actually blocking all of his uh bullets uh oh shit oh that was close <laughs> i dodged way too early 
blocking all of his bullets actually eats up your battery quite quite a bit so you need to be careful oh god that was actually good enough okay I'm being a little bit too antsy. One thing I did even mention for Death Metal, by the way, is that uh, I mentioned that the game has a really good soundtrack. The boss fights are absolutely no exception. Hell, Hell on Bare Feet, I believe, is the uh, name. Oh, we've missed that. Hell on Bare Feet is the name of that Death Metal boss fight, and it's a decent track, but this is the first absolute banger of a boss fight theme. Steel Python for Dr. Peace, and one of the best in the whole game, honestly. Very, very good. Very, very memorable. Dr. Peace, in general, uh, it, along with his cutscenes and everything, is probably one of my favorite assassins in the entire game, especially when I jerk off right next to him. How embarrassing. Just the the, the idea of, of a boss that, like, he refuses to move from this post, like, he, he won't move from it, and he, like, he just runs right back to it, and he's just a ranged boss fight, and you just get him right into his face and just murder him, and just really really satisfying again the music and stuff really helps too there we go also as far as as far as uh, boss fights actually go he's a lot more manageable of a boss fight than death metal is there we go Oh, nice! Okay. So you can actually, uh, by locking on, you can actually cancel the uh, charge animation for your beam katana. So that's probably the easiest way to do it. There we go. Nice! Okay, we're doing actually really good on this guy. He's almost down. One more dark step should do it! No, oh, we're so close! No! Yes! Okay, final phase is kind of his, his desperation move almost, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a, a showboating one. Oh god, that looks way more painful than what Death Metal got. Oh my god. Right in the stomach. Next song I sing, I know my daughter will love. Won't you, darling? <laughs> Better practice my rap. <laughs> with me, Jennifer. Uh. It's open mic night in hell, old man. Sing all you want down there. Damn! Oh, that's the rules. You get to take whatever you're carrying. So he gets to take a revolver and a microphone with him to the depths of hell. At least Travis is a nice guy. Okay, and for uh, slaying the uh, revolver-toting musician, we get uh, $200,000 almost. So that that uh, that's going straight to Sylvia. Yeah, son of a bitch. Okay, and that's Dr. Peace dealt with. Yeah, that that boss fight. I'm a I'm a big fan of that boss fight. I don't know. It's really cool. Also, it's weird. Sometimes Travis doesn't want to punch. I was having that same problem in the coconut mini game where sometimes it just I don't know. It's a little finicky. Oh well. <laughs> just punch the air, Travis. Get all your anger out. Also, Sylvia's just waiting over there, apparently. Interesting. Okay. Bring in the cleanup crew. Congratulations. You are now ranked number nine. What'd you expect? Wait a minute. Are you getting a little sentimental? Still green, aren't you? <laughs> you know this is only the beginning. Call me when the next one's arranged. Game set! <laughs> Game! Okay, and that's another rank down. Uh, that one print pretty okay. I <laughs> I feel like the level could have gone a little better, but I feel like I did really well in the boss, so I can't really complain. Normally, this is the part where I'd be <laughs> giving you a majestic uh, freestyle <laughs> freestyle lyrics over this, but uh, I feel like my seals have deteriorated <laughs> over the years. I apologize. Maybe in the future. 